What's up everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and as you can see behind me, the 2005 Lincoln Town Car Signature L long wheelbase is done, finally done. Um, I, I After doing this car and getting this car ready for sale, which is for sale, this is the video, I have since realized that sometimes I put a little too much heart into these cars and, and don't make the best choices in uh, what I do to these I'll explain it through the video, but I'm glad it's done. I'm glad I can bring it to you for sale. Let's take a look at it, that 2005 Lincoln Town Car. All right, folks, here she is, done and ready for its next owner. This is a one owner, 2005 Lincoln Town Car. It's a signature L model. Very rare opportunity at this car because they didn't make up many long wheelbase cars. Most of them uh, were the executive style cars. And this car is a signature, really well-loaded car. I think this car pretty much has everything for 2005, including the THX sound system. Uh, and then they went above and beyond and obviously put some chrome on it and a beautiful half top. So if you remember this car when the car came in, uh, I bought this car at 64,000 miles. Now it has 65. Uh, but it had kind of a cream-colored vinyl top on it. And that cream colored vinyl top was just starting to show its age uh, and splitting at one of the seams. And I kind of put it out there and I asked everybody what they thought I should do as far as putting a top on this car. Should I go with vinyl or should I go with canvas? Now in the beginning of my video, uh, you would have heard me say, maybe I don't make the best uh, business choices. Uh, the canvas obviously cost more. Uh, it wasn't the cost that was the poor choice. It was how long it took to get the canvas. The canvas was not in stock. Uh, so the canvas took like two months to get and then finally get on the car where they had vinyl in stock. I could have had this car for sale two months ago. Um, but you know what? My heart said canvas is gonna look really, really good on this car. I gotta put canvas on it. Uh, so it was between burgundy, brown, or navy blue. And I think the brown kind of complements the car a little bit better. You know, with the uh, beige interior, the light parchment, and then the darker colored brown uh, dashboard. I just think it went together really well. Burgundy would have looked great as well, but here we are. So I ended up going with chocolate brown canvas. It came out absolutely beautiful. Uh, put new coach lights on it. <laughs> the car really came together nice. Uh, the color of the car is like a pearl white. I think they call it ceramic tricoat. Uh, really, like I said, well-loaded car, light parchment leather interior. Uh, it's got the pinstriping on it, chrome wheels, chrome wheel lip moldings. Uh, it got the chrome down on the rocker panels as well. Uh, even has the HID headlights. Like I said, this car is pretty well-loaded. Two-tone pinstripe, which I actually did not put on. This was already on the car. Um, and then you can see here, Take a look at that beautiful stay fast canvas top. Brand new, absolutely gorgeous. The other one, it was coming apart on the seam here. They seamed them together here. Really, really came out nicely. The brown, I think really goes well with this car and it really looks good. All the stainless is in really nice shape. And like I said, I put new uh, LED coach lights on it. Got all the chrome rocker panel trim on the bottom. Beautiful chrome uh, Lincoln wheels wrapped up in brand new white wall tires. You can see that beautiful, the like metallic flake in that beautiful paint. It's like a pearl. Kind of, oh, look at that. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. This car really just pops. I mean, just such an elegant car all the way around. Now let's go around the car. I'm gonna show you uh, all the way around a few little nicks and dings and whatever, like I always do. I'll show you all the features, we'll get inside the car, and then we will actually be able to take it for a little bit of a drive uh, as well. I do wanna apologize if you hear any wind noise in the background, I'm outside, obviously. Uh, I have a Lincoln Town Car that 1997 from Chicago, kind of right in the middle of my floor right now. So I can't take pictures inside today or tonight or whenever I do it. Anyways, paint on the car is in really nice shape. 
front bumper does show some minor like bug marks you can see here uh, on the front headlights really nice crystal clear i'm gonna say this car had to be garaged uh has a chrome wheel lip moldings they're already on the car like them or not they were already there uh brand new white wall tires uh what else did i do to this car four wheel brakes pads rotas front rear new front struts resealed the cowl um tires uh I'm sure i'm missing something else you can see here how nice and clean this is down the side got the keyless entry keypad mirror nice and clean it's hard to see but like right in here i can feel it there's a very very oh, look at that look at that flake you can kind of almost see the little divot right there. Very minor door ding there. You can see a minor ding there as well. All the chrome on the bottom is nice. Again, brand new white wall tires. Looks beautiful on those chrome wheels. Pinstriping. A little bit of dust already on the car. Come around to the back bumper. But there's a few marks here where it's touched up can see it with some abrasion marks the original dealer uh, selling dealer I do have the original window sticker very minor wrinkling on this uh, truck finish panel kind of common to see on those I've pointed them out before a couple other minor little spots touched up I don't know what this is. And you can see here, right up on the top here, and then two scrapes right there. Beautiful, beautiful pearl paint on this car. I absolutely love this top. It's funny, I drove this car around, I put, I don't know, 800 miles on this car. You know <clears throat> waiting to get this top put on so i was driving around with a worn out top you know kind of worn out michelin white wall tires those were the tires that were on it and uh now that it's done <coughs> excuse me now that it's done it's too nice it's like a little ding somewhere i just caught a little glance of a tiny little ding somewhere oh right right there uh, now that it's done and all complete and clean, I don't even want to drive the car because it's too nice. Brand new white wall tire. Had those tires, uh, road force balance. Stainless is in nice shape. A couple little chips right on the edge of the door here. I'm catching something. Same with on the edge of the mirror there roof uh, that is just a little bit of dirt let's get some kick up on the road uh, this wheel has a little bit of a chunk on the edge there you can see the tire that was on this car had a mark the cell must have just just caught something there uh, it's just a little bit of damage over the edge of that wheel. You can see through there four brand new brakes. Pretty cool. It's got the Wixom assembly plant sticker on the windshield. I think I pointed out in the beginning you can see some of the bug marks just right in the front of the bumper. What a beautiful, beautiful car. All the chrome and the grill is in nice shape. Stand up hood ornament, HID headlights show very, very well. Brand new front license plate bracket. I did replace that. I replaced this on this car and the black car to year that's coming up. Uh, they're very calm to split on the corners there. All right, let's take a look inside this car and uh, under the hood and the trunk. We'll take it for a spin down the road and I'll show you how smooth this Lincoln is on the road. 
All right, let's take a look inside this beautiful town car. Now, it's just as nice as the outside is, the inside is just as nice. At 65,000 miles, the leather's in really nice shape, very, very clean, and obviously the long wheelbase gives you all that backseat store, uh, storage leg room. Uh, one of the great things that this car has, and I think these L's should have come standard with it, is the THX sound system. Now you can see it's got the in-dash navigation, but you can see on the uh, speakers, the THX badging, and then right up there on the A-pillar, the tweeters, you got these little guys here, THX, really a super nice sound system for these cars. You don't see them much in these Lincolns. Uh, why? Because it was a $3,000 option. I've had cars with them. I've had cars without them. You could definitely tell the cars that have them, uh, the quality of the sound system, but really just absolutely a well-kept car. Has the power seats, heated seats, which work. Believe me, I used them. Even the pull handles and the pull straps are all in nice shape. The wood trimming, tweeters, you get your fuel door release, trunk release. Well, the sill plate is clean. This aluminum trim plate and a few little blisters of like maybe corrosion on it, but no rust or anything like that. And then you can see a little bit of wrinkling in the leather, but you know, overall very, very clean. Has the Lincoln insignia on the leather itself. Dashboard is in really, really nice shape. Original wood grain steering wheel has all the steering wheel controls, voice controls, volume controls. Adjustable pedals, headlights, it does have HID headlights, and then all the carpeting. You can see here, just a couple little spots. I don't know what the heck that was from. The car had the floor mats in it, and I still have them, obviously. But we just couldn't get those out. Look how clean it is. Take a look at the back here. back seat now the nice thing with the long wheelbase cars heated rear seats as well and <laughs> actually i'm surprised it has a cigarette lighter still on these things 2005 now you can just look how clean that is and tell that this really has never been used definitely private owner private use never livery used oh the door jam nice and clean now it's funny i had I'm on a couple Lincoln pages on Facebook and somebody made a comment about these black pieces of trim. Uh, they saw one of these cars and they were all wrinkly and bubbly. These covers are just covers that cover essentially here and here where they stretch the car out. Well, that's what Lincoln did. Instead of taking a little bit of time and doing some more body work, you take these off, you can see the seams here where they stretch the car out. Just a plastic cover. Back seat is super, super clean. Nice thing again about these L's, is they have the uh, cup holders in the center here, kind of like the designer series, but these are definitely exclusive to the L's. You got the uh, audio controls, temperature controls. You can put this up, you have to turn it on up front though. Uh, that's to push that power seat up. This is a little storage bin to put, uh, what do you put in there? Tissues. <laughs> Dual ports for the uh, uh, audio or, you know, charging charging ports. As all the seat belts, rear headrests are adjustable on these cars. Really, really nice leather interior. Come around to the passenger side. Inside the jams, it's super, super clean. Up on the shelf, very nice and clean. Another super, super nice. Lincoln. I like the L's because they have the big full-size Lincoln plate where the non-L's are they don't have the Lincoln here. Again, rear heated seats. 
ashtrays. That's where that extra cigarette lighter came. I found an extra cigarette lighter. I said, oh, where did this thing come from? I do have that. <laughs> Heated seats, window switches. Very, very cool. And a little bit of corrosion on this aluminum plate here. Let's see how nice that dashboard is. Carpeting is nice and clean over here as well. One minor little spot with a little stain there. It does have the flip armrest. Wood's nice, and again, that THX sound system. All the pull handles nice and tight. Has all the little caps. All right, let's jump behind the driver's seat. Driver's seat, behind the steering wheel. All right, we're inside the cabin of the town car, and I want to show you all the stuff that I have for it here. You can see I got both sets of keys, both remotes. We'll give it a start. Sorry about the sun glare. Uh, let's see. Show you the mileage. What do we got here? Uh, 65,000 miles on the car. A THX sound system, you can see that. We'll get a gree. Don't want to let that go on too long. I'll get yelled at by YouTube for copyright infringement. Original window sticker, got the books. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I hate being outside in the cold. <laughs> uh, the original books, the pen, all the pamphlets there. Uh, thank you, owner advantage card. Some other little pamphlets. Uh, bumper quality label, don't know what that's all about. Uh, this is the CD-ROM for the DVD, uh, DVD, the navigation system. It's a quick start guide for the navigation. I'm sure they probably gave it out to all the little old ladies who said, oh, how do I operate that? Jeez, let me see if I can move out of the sun here. All right, this is a little better. At least we don't have any glare here. So you can see here the navigation system. You get the audio, the map. It's pretty basic, you know, uh, system, you know, for to get in your navigation, your destination. It is touchscreen as well, uh, you know, but you can, you know, type in all your stuff here, change your area. Go back to your menu, system setup, audio. All the audio is very straightforward. We'll shut that off. Oh, let me turn the volume down. You seek buttons, you have your presets, you know, push and hold just like a regular radio. It's really not too crazy, but some people I'm sure probably don't have the easiest time with it. Uh, it does have all the uh, overhead console here. One thing that doesn't work in a lot of these town cars, you put it in reverse. You can see here it says park assist is disabled. Um, the controllers for the rear parking assist on these cars, uh, very common for them to go bad. And unfortunately there is no replacement for them. Uh, this here is the window sticker. And I'm really glad to have it with this car. You can see it's the extended wheelbase signature L, ceramic white tri-coat, uh, medium dark parchment leather. Base price was $50,000, all the included options on the S signature L. Uh, ceramic white tri-coat paint, $595. White wall tie is $125. Trunk organizer still has $195. HID headlights, $500. Uh, chrome wheels, $900. And the navigation system, $29.95. Grand total was $56,000. It's super, super cool. Again, that this car still has that. Let's take a look under the hood. Pop that trunk. Let's see, whisper, whisper, quiet. 4.6 liter V8. And super super clean under here. You can see the new front struts. 
I mean, this car just runs so, so quiet. So like I did say, we did seal that cowl up. Makes it clean as well. Now inside the trunk, it's got the power opening and closing trunk. Have the original floor mats, two front floor mats. Even comes with grandma's umbrella. Jacking instructions. Funny thing, they use the picture of the grand marquee on even on these town cars. Ford just didn't care. Uh, wrap that up. Here is your trunk organizer. You have three little bins there. And this comes out of the trunk too. It just lifts right out. It's a you know plastic case, but pretty nice. It gives a nice solid floor. Uh, spare mounted in the quarter there. Cleans that space up. Trying to pull down works. Let's take it for a ride. All right. This is the most enjoying part or most enjoyable part of Lincoln Town Car ownership. Just how buttery smooth these cars are, how quiet they are. And this one is no exception. Uh, I absolutely love, love, love driving these cars. And I enjoy driving this. Uh, it's got 65,172. I wanna say I put close to a thousand miles on this car. Uh, and it was enjoyable. And that was before service, so now it's even better. New struts, new tires, the original Michelins that were on this car. They were actually replacements from 2010, but dry rotted as dry rotted can be, and obviously too old uh, to be safe. Just so, so smooth. What's going on here, guy? Watch out, coming through. I know I can see this thing flashing in the screen or on the camera. It's not actually doing that in real life again, the way the camera is picking it up. It's just so nice. Enjoyable, quiet, smooth, tires, everything. Just really makes, took this car that was a nice driver because I believe me, I drove the heck out of it, uh, waiting for the top material to come in. And uh, it just drives so nice now with the new tires. New front brakes, new rear brakes, pads and rotors, uh, and then the new front struts, like I said. No crazy pulsation or pulling. All right, back here at the shop. Gonna put this Lincoln Town car back inside. Uh, and everybody's gonna ask all the details about the car. So like I said, 2005 Lincoln Town car, signature L. Uh, if you have any questions about the car, 978-930-1004 is my cell phone number. Uh, you can get me anytime. And the price of this car, is going to be $16,995. If you have any questions, again, 978-930-1004. Uh, give me a haul anytime if you need help with shipping. I can help set that up for you as well. Get it delivered right to your door. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you. And uh, check me out on Instagram and uh, Facebook on all of the social media. I post all my kind of previews and sneak peeks and you know, uh, anybody on there knows when something's coming up for sale because I always start posting pictures like, ooh, it's getting cleaned up. Take a look at it so you know when something is coming. Thanks, everyone, for watching. My name is Anthony. We'll talk to you on the next one.